so so let's go back man because you mentioned my guy you know and when he passes me a beat or i go digging through his garbage can of beats um i find some stuff that lets me get off and act a damn fool the relationship mm -hmm. you built uh with agent smith how did that come about because you mentioned the brother's name who died may he rest in peace my condolences to his family and everything no doubt. how did that how did that uh culminate so as joined computer music academy after i had already been in it and what i noticed when listening to his beats was how full his beats were mm. how melodic they were how they were jazz they were jazzy um but they were very melodic everything was in key everything was but it still had the flaw the flawedness in a way it wasn't it, it it still was flawed like like hip hop is you know what i'm saying with the record with the record uh you know the record fuzz in it and and the radio static and this that and the third and the grittiness and all that so i think the first time him and i worked together one of the challenges in the program was you had to connect with somebody else in the program and y'all had to collaborate on making a beat okay and so he worked on a beat and i said you know what would be cool is like capturing it was dead of winter like dead of winter right this was right around christmas break and i said it'd be cool to capture how when it snows in chicago today it will snow in detroit tomorrow okay um it's like a five or it's like a five to seven hour time lapse and so he sent me a beat and man we made it like a, it was like a snowstorm it was like it was like a snowstorm on a song there was no sound effects we had a sound effect in the beginning actually of you know uh like a weather report saying you know it's expected to be snow in chicago and around you know lake effect this that and the third and blah 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 and all that and then the song plays and it's like deep instrumentation that can kind of that shows how the storm starts one way and it gets real serious and then it calms down and by the end of the song it's the weather report in detroit oh wow like, you know um now this storm system is moving on into canada this that and the third because that's how kind of how i go so saying all that to say as has always given me a lot of flexibility as a conductor with his instruments mm -hmm. he's all that's kind of how a lot of us work together is that we you know he did he he does the same thing with jb swift from the d for their triple to trouble projects double trouble projects and stuff like that where we kind of had the ability to mold and manipulate things and we all bring our own thing to the table and he's been able to he's given me that 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 flexibility and i'm forever grateful because he's so inspiring he's so inspirational to me musically and he that, gets it in man he does he does he's so inspirational to me he speak through his music He's a very refined brother, like a, a reserve brother. Very. You know? But um, from a creative standpoint, you know, I put him against anybody. Anybody. Thank you for saying that. Anybody. Thank you for saying that. And Production. yes, yes. Because you know. the dude, I'll say it again for people who think I'm bullshitting. He throws away beats and those yep. are the beats that I sometimes or a good yep. percentage of the time. Those are the beats that I end up using on projects are the ones that he throws away and he is disgusted with. He don't like or whatever it is. He, we call him we call him Lou Holtz. You know who Lou Holtz was when he was the coach of Indiana. And he'd be like, oh, he had like the number one team in the country. And he'd be like, hey, oh, you know, we that team, they probably going to kick our butt. They just... You know, we he will always under like underplay his team. Yeah. He, he just so humble. Yeah, he would never take credit. You'd be like, man, that's crazy dope. He'd be like, man, you know, it's all. But I I ended up having some of that same attitude from him too. Uh, it started to rub off, and I didn't know what it was, but I realized what it was. Is it was I'm trying to make myself better for the next time, and in order for me to get better for the next time, I can't be happy with what i just did because this is just for now 
for now is oh. is cool but yes it, it, it's a fleeting it's a fleeting moment it won't be here for for long someone else could be making something the, the next time out so it always made me want to rhyme better and and, and do dip, do a lot of different things as far as uh putting putting my rhymes together or tinkering telling him what i'm hearing on a beat and tinkering around with the beat and everything you, you know how powerful that is to acknowledge the fact that you are never a finished product mm -mm. and 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 you could come out today and spit the craziest verse of all time and know that it would be greater later you know that's that's an amazing thing to acknowledge and to accept yeah um and that's but what makes what we do so beautiful and, and I had it already, but being around him, it was like, oh, okay, I'm cool. So it's okay for me to rhyme because I'll, I'll do some shit and I'll, I'll think it's cool. And he'll be like, that's all right. And I'm like, what? He go, that's all right. And he'll go, oh, I done heard you do shit way better. He's and he'll say some shit like, I done heard you sing on songs way better than that. Like, let me know when you're ready to record the real shit. So, like, all right. Yep. And it's 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 not. A high pitch. It's not to be competitive. It's a very monotone way that he says things. He's like, just get it done. Yep. Yep. But one of the I'm illest, and like you said, as far as beat making or production, I'll put him up with anybody. I would too. I would too. I, I would. Because he will surprise you. I would do a record. I mean, you know, in all humility, because I don't really do records to like I'm not I'm not even really comfortable putting a record together. Oh, and then going out and being like, hey, come buy my record. Come this. Mm -hmm. Come. I want you to I, I would prefer that because I'm not hurting for the money. I just would prefer if you want to just come and you want to discover it and you want to learn about who I am and this and the third. Yeah. I use my records for class like I teach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I use my records for classes about culturally relevant pedagogy because i talk a lot about being a teacher who was influenced by hip-hop so somebody would look at my spotify numbers and be like this guy is nothing this guy is i probably got 10 monthly listeners right now if that but thanks for me i would do a record with as i would do a complete record with as where as is as do all the beats and you know, I and it's not a lot of people that's close to me that I feel like I can do that with. Mm -hmm. But I know that I have to be in a certain place to match up with where he is. Because mm -hmm. you know, he's so smooth. Mm -hmm. It's it's I that that's I have to be prepared to go into that space and do that. So yeah, man. He one of them people that I I, I you know, Lord's will, I always have him somewhere close to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Me too. Because, Me too. You know, he's, spe he's special. No doubt. Yeah, and when I'll mention this too, uh, uh, sometimes I just pick his brain on different things just to see how he, you know, how he feels about certain things. Hey, are you are you making beats? No, I got to take a time out. I'm, I'm exhausted or whatever. And then when he is in a mood, hey, what you think of this? Or hey, what you think about about this? Hey, I went over here and recorded this. What you think of all this? And he'll go. He's like, it's, it's cool. He's like, and he'll tell me like usually everything that you do is is cool or is good but you can do you can always do something better than what you just did you know absolutely and and to for him the way that he says it is always very very chill very reserved and it's never to to punch you in the face about what he's saying it's just to say that there's always better to be done you know? and and i i love the dude for that i i respect him for that 